Hello guys, welcome to this vlog. We have Taya and we have Morgan and Danny. And Danny's upset with me because I just paused Taylor Swift to open the vlog. <laughs> so we're gonna So we're gonna do this quick fast. But it is Saturday today and I was gonna vlog tomorrow, but I decided just to vlog. It's like lunchtime, but I'm gonna vlog this afternoon and tomorrow. Because this afternoon we've got some exciting things planned. You do? We do. Yeah. Yes, we do. <laughs> we're going to the dog park. We don't have a dog. But Morgan and Danny have been working this morning at the dog park at Days Park in Hamilton for the edge, handing out dog food to dogs. Oh so they came, the they came out with the cutest photos of the dogs. So we, uh, Tara and I are very envious. So we're going to go get our daily dose of dogs. But I just remembered that I got this for my birthday. It actually popped up when I was looking for the Christmas presents for my mum. It popped up as a recommended present. I was like, I have that and I haven't used it. So it's a thing to make jelly and we're going to make apple and elderflower jelly with raspberry garnish. As you can see, I'm driving, so Taya's behind the camera just like. <laughs> but we are heading to do some Christmas shopping, so unfortunately I can't show you what I'm buying, but you can come along with us. We're going to the base and we're going to Chartwell. Actually, I can say where they are because no one's going to connect the dots of what's for who, right, Taya? Yeah, sure. We're going to Whip Calls, Kathmandu, Mountain Warehouse, Body Shop, Countdown, Country Road, and I think that's it. Cute. Guys, I've brought Taya into Adia's. It's her first time in here, and she's a COVID shopkeeper's nightmare. She's touching everything. <laughs> I can't help myself. Everything is just like, look, this is cute. I want it. <laughs> we didn't want anything from in here, but I just. Oh, we I just, came I so love Emma could brow. So I can browse and literally we've met like 10 meters into the shop and she's touched every single thing that we found. Time to move on to Chartwell Mall. I would call that a little bit of a success. I'm very glad that I wrote a list of what I was coming for because like if I didn't have a list or an objective where I was going like that would have taken so much longer especially with all the people but it's time to go home. We're having Caesar salad for dinner so we just went to the supermarket at Chartwell and got some stuff. We are back home and I'm gonna do a little haul for you guys. So, if you are Matt, if you're Sage, if you're my mother, if you're my father, if you are my grandmother, skip to this time on the video or just exit it completely because otherwise you're gonna spoil your own Christmas present. 10, 10 second countdown, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one. And if you're still watching, that's not a me problem. First stop was Mountain Warehouse. I have never been to this shop before. It was quite overwhelming, but <laughs> I got my dad. Oh my god. <laughs> a bright yellow, because him and mum have been doing a lot of biking and he doesn't have any like safety gear like fluoro. So I got him this one. I originally wanted to get him a short sleeve since it's summer, but this is quite light and it's like a windbreaker type style thing. And it's got reflective bits on it so I think like a reflective on the back as well and so I think that'll do the job and that was also like 30% off I think. Then we went to Kathmandu and this was a little bit of a mission to get this. I'll take it out of the bag so you guys can see what this. This is for my, well, my both my parents. It's a coolie bag to so open it. It's got like the coolie stuff in it. They have one from Kathmandu which I think we got dad for Christmas like 10 years ago maybe and like the straps are broken. My mum and dad when they go on road trips to places they like put like food and drinks and stuff in there to keep it cold. They get a lot of use out of it. So it's time for them to have a new one. So this is what they're getting. Next stop was Stevens. So I went in there to get this, which is one of those, I think is what it is anyway. I hope this is what it is. It's like a metal magnetic thing and you stick it on the wall and you can hang your knives off it. Mum has wanted one for years and she just has never got one for herself. And so I went and got one for her. And then while I was in there, while we were searching around the shop trying to find it, I found this, which is one of those like little mini clothes. That's the best way of explaining it. A little mini clothes rack for drying pasta on because when we cook pasta at home, we don't have one. So it's kind of like the pasta gets strung like halfway across the kitchen and ends up sticking to each other. So that will do the job, yeah. Oh, then we went to Adair's and I always just go into Adair's just because I like to look and I have one of their little key cards. So I'm like, oh, well, we'll see what we can find. So, I got this pot. I was I always go in there to browse. Always to browse. I never purchase anything. I purchase something. So I have a monstera. You can see one of them here and the other one's like over on the bookshelf there. The one on the bookshelf has outgrown the pot and the pot that it's currently sitting in. You guys may remember this time last year I went on a trip to the South Island with my parents and I bought two pots at Riverstone Castle and I was so excited about it. It was like highlight of the whole trip. But it's grown out of the pot, so I need to get something new for that pot and transfer the other one into this one. That's so pretty. That's cute, eh? Yeah. But I just realized it has a hole in the bottom, so I'm gonna need to figure out a way to 
plug it up. It looks painful. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. <laughs> Slight <laughs> air break. Let's connect it. <laughs> oh. What are you doing on the roof? All right. Back to the hall. I went to Whip Hall's next and got my Nana a present. My Nana loves writing letters and she writes them all by hand because she doesn't have a computer or anything so she won't be watching this. <laughs> Making stuff at home. I got her this letter writing little kit. And so it has letter paper and envelopes and then I got her a cute little rose gold pen to go with it. Then we went to Chartwell and I went to Country Road. First up we have this t-shirt which is for my mum. I rang her this afternoon and asked her, what do you want for Christmas? Because she's one of the hardest people to buy for. And so she said she'd love a nice t-shirt. And so I got her this country road one. And then I got Sage a present. So I got her this beach bag. And then uh, while I was there, my mum asked me, because I communicated with my mother about the fact I was buying this for Sage. And then mum's like, oh, while you're there, just get yourself that bag that you want and I'll pay you back and give it to you for Christmas. So this is for myself for Christmas from my mother that I bought it because she couldn't be bothered going to Sylvia Park in Auckland and fighting the crowds to get it. So that's fun. That is the shopping haul complete. I need to do some serious Christmas wrapping tonight, which I'm very excited about. Oh my goodness, it's literally 20 past five. I've just taken my washing off the line. I had a bit of a clean out of my active wear because this morning I, oh my gosh, this is a story time. Let me just park myself on the floor so I can explain. So yesterday was Black Friday. So the sales in the shops and online at the moment, like you guys know, like your email inbox is just flooded with 30% off, 40% off, buy one, get one free. I am a very stingy person when it comes to spending my money. Asking any of the girls in the flat, like I'm on my hands and knees at the supermarket looking at which egg is the cheapest. But I've decided this year for Black Friday, I would like, do my wardrobe top up and all my Christmas shopping in one big hit. And so um, I spent a lot of money in the past seven days, like as the sales have been coming through and I will be doing a Black Friday haul. So just keep your eyes out for that. I'm obviously just waiting for things to arrive online. To be honest, I'm waiting for White Fox because you guys know this shipping takes like three weeks. If you guys have seen my ball get ready with me, you guys know Kendall who does my makeup. And when I was there getting my makeup done last time, she showed me this active wear because we always talk like gym stuff. This active wear that she'd got um, from Honor Active. And I'd never heard of them before. And I was like, oh yeah, I'm always down to try something new. And I've been looking at this stuff for like, well, since then, it's like what, four months? I figured that there'd be a Black Friday sale. So I've held off until today. And their sale started this morning at 6am so I uh, woke up at 6am this morning or 5 to 6 to get online but last night I was up till midnight deciding what I wanted so I had a wish list ready to go and I had everything planned out because it was up to 50% off which is so good like sports bras for $22 and so I woke up this morning started adding everything to my cart and then by the time I got there half the stuff had already sold out and I was like okay I gotta make moves fast and then it wouldn't let me click like the shipping like proceed to shipping button and I was like oh and so then I refreshed it and then like literally two things were left. I was like, well, it's not really worth my time. And so I left, I went back to sleep for a couple hours, woke up and then looked again and some of the stuff was back in stock. I was like, oh, sweet. And by the time I like contemplated whether or not I was going to get it, it was sold out again. And I was like, oh, okay, that's dumb. Then I saw on Chrissy, who's like the influencer who is on active, on her Insta that they had like a server crash and that the stock levels had been re-updated and that stuff was back in stock And so I jumped on and I managed to get what I wanted I think I got six things and it was like $177, which is not bad at all I'm now having a clean out of my activewear I don't need like everything that I have and a lot of the activewear I have is actually like sponsored stuff from brands and like don't get me wrong I'm so grateful to be like gifted stuff like this and obviously that I wouldn't be gifted the stuff if it wasn't for you guys so thank you every now and again i have a clean out of stuff that i've been gifted and normally i gift it to my flatmates and stuff like i don't resell stuff that i've been gifted because i just don't think that's right but i have a stack of stuff here that i was gifted that i'm gonna go out shortly to the lounge and see if any of the girls want it i managed to get rid of four pairs of tights like three sports bras and two jumpers so yeah that's my little clean out but i'm actually going to clean my bathroom and my bedroom now if you guys have seen my sunday weekly reset video you know that i clean my room on a sunday but i have a very busy day tomorrow church tomorrow i've got essentials tomorrow and i just want to have a bit of as much as i can a rest day tomorrow let's get cleaning dinner is ready taya has made a caesar salad with croutons we've got chicken over there and bacon over there <laughs> We love food in this house. Looks so good. Also, shout out to Simone Anderson. Her cookbook always pulls through. Have, I'm just, like, I'm surprisingly not scared of COVID anymore. 
That's great, Morgan. Dinner is served. We're eating on the couch. This I got at the food show with my mum. It is alcohol-free gin and tonic because you guys know I don't drink alcohol for no other reason other than the fact that I just hate the taste of it and don't really want to. So I'm going to give this a crack and see because it actually expires soon. Not going to lie. I'm going to give it a bash and see if I like it because if I do, this could be a good New Year's alternative. I taste tested it when I bought it and it tasted good. So hopefully it still tastes as good. We have gone on an adventure minus Danny because her hay fever. She was like, now nah, I'm not going outside. So we have come to Day's Park where the girls were handing out dog treats to the dogs this morning. And we're gonna see if we can find some dogs. It's like sunset time. It's really cute. I haven't been here in ages. Look at the river. All the way from Topo, heading all the way to Auckland. Got the skin. literally shut the door up. Danny asked us to get her Skittles and we went out to do our shopping this afternoon and uh, we forgot. She demanded that we bring them back for her this evening. So that's what we're doing, but we're gonna go home. 8.47, we're gonna go home, have some jelly and some homemade ice cream that Taya made, wrap up Christmas presents, and then go to bed. Oh my gosh, my jelly is looking good. I think it's just this set, fabulous. We have all of the little things out of this. These things! This is so hilarious. Oh my gosh, they Wait, do. Wait, I know exactly what you're talking uh, about. Now. Yes. Like... Okay, my camera's flashing, but I'm gonna need to put mm. some of this on. We have been busy watching The Grinch and wrapping up Christmas present. I just looked at the time and realized it's literally like five minutes to 11. But Tay is still going. I've done my wrapping and put them under the tree. They look so cute. The little tags and stuff are from this book that I got literally like six years ago from Kiki K and it has like heaps of like tags and paper and stuff in it. I'm gonna head to bed while Taya's been a trooper wrapping up Christmas presents because we have to be at church 8.30 in the morning. So no sleepings for us tomorrow. Morgan's got work in the morning as well. So, all right, good night. Good morning guys, it is Sunday today and I I didn't realise, like it must be just a COVID thing, but the posties are working on Sundays. So this package arrived me this morning from Idol Beauty. I'm going to open it, I might actually go to the lounge and open it, but it's 11.30 and Tara and I went to church this morning at 8.30 and then went into the supermarket shop for the flat and we've come home. I was planning on vlogging stuff, but on my SD card I only had 43 seconds worth of space left on it. I've had to come home and clear all the footage onto my hard drive, but I'm going to take this out to the lounge and open it with the girls. Wow, okay. Brow wow with Ardell. I think I've used some of this stuff before. Wait, brow tint. Oh, hang on. Let me hold it up to the camera. I'm not, I'm not a beauty. Do the beauty thing. I'm not a beauty vlogger, guys. This is a new niche for me. Oh, why not? No! Where did it go? Oh wait, hang on. Was he hanging off the bottom? Ah! Oh! What is that? That is a bloody big one. <laughs> oh. Sorry, guys. My little haul will resume in a second. There he is. Okay. Look at him. Oh, oh, he's moving quickly. Resuming my haul, I got a little bit distracted and my audience has flown. Anyway, it's now half an hour later. My mother just called me, but we have a little info card. You guys know I don't really wear makeup, but when I do, it's always mascara and I do my eyebrows. And I've been using Ardell products since day dot, since I started doing my eyebrows. So we have brow tint, a brow pencil with a little spoolie brush in the end, some brow setting sculpting gel, brow pro... Oh, Danny, can you help me with this pomade? Pomade. Pomade, yeah. thank you. Thank you to Ardell and Undertow Media. Hashtag gifted. I'm now gonna wrap up some Christmas presents because I went and got, like, you know, like when you can get scorched almonds for like $5. Um, those sales are happening at the moment, so I bought some, like, chocolate and stuff to fill like, random people, so I'm gonna wrap that up and pop it under the tree. I've had an outfit change and it is time to go to Essentials Practice. I have my guitar set up. It is the last Essentials of the year, which is crazy. Alright guys, I have not been on my vlogging game today, but we're cooking dinner, we're having fish. I'm Which... sacrificing a plastic bag, we forgot to take it out of the freezer. We forgot to take the fish out of the freezer, but I'm making a tomato zucchini capsicum ragu to go with our fish. Yes. I think it's also important to know that you caught the fish. I did. Good job. We have some chips in the air fryer. Right guys, dinner is served. I'm gonna close off this vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, you can see my reflection, that's cute. I'm gonna try to get back on the vlogging game. I need to like sort out my time management with now working 40 hour weeks with my new job. So thank you guys for watching. Stay safe, stay well, make someone smile, and I'll see you in my next video.
really fancy. That's what smells. Sorry. You're okay. Strobe lighting coming from the Christmas tree.